what if you can have an injection or take a pill that will help reduce inflammation and restore blood flow? Stay tuned, and I'm going to talk to you about this terrific peptide. This podcast is for you, the modern man. I'm Dr. Ann Trung, your host. I'm an intimate health medical doctor and best-selling author of the book, Erectile Dysfunction Fix. I'll do a deep dive into sexual health and performance and how it affects men of all ages and backgrounds. So let's get started and be sure to visit my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com for more information and resources from the show. See you on the inside. So, have you ever heard of BPC-157? Well, BPC-157 is the peptide. It has 15 amino acids, and it, it is used to help with healing. It actually comes from the stomach gastric juice, and is used to decrease inflammation. It helps digestion and gut health. It helps with healing, particularly healing from tendon, ligaments, muscle injury, as well as promote brain health and improve your mood. And this is one of the, the uh, called peptides because they're amino acid. And BPC-157 can be injected or now can be delivered as a pill or can even be as a nasal gel. So uh, for sexual health, Sometimes this is used in conjunction with doing platelet-rich plasma, shockwave therapy to accelerate healing and restore blood flow because BBC-157 can also recruit stem cell to the area as well. And particularly for athletes, they use BPC-157 to accelerate healings, particularly when they have a tendon or muscle or ligament injury and they want to heal fast and get back to performing again. I use it to re- to restore blood flow and accelerate healing. Now, it can be taken, uh, as like I said before, as injection or as a pill, and it ranges from 200 microgram to 1,000 uh, microgram, depending on uh, the person's uh, needs. You take it for about two to four weeks, and then you take a break, and then you may resume for about two weeks, and you take it as needed. But all you really need is a short period of time just to kind of help your body heal and decrease inflammation and restore function again. So it's one of my favorite peptides to use. Uh, let me know in your comment what you think about it if you have any question. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you, and I would love to give you the most incredible free gift designed to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.